for a month now, protesters have camped outside Tennessee's Capitol building, and for the majority of that month, there's been tension with state troopers monitoring the situation. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard hears from both sides, with protesters saying they won't back down anytime soon. Just about any incident here between protesters and troopers draws debate about what happened. They are telling us that we can't cross this barricade on public property that we pay taxes for. Versions of confrontations often conflict. Sometimes cameras are there, sometimes they are not. Case in point was a tweet Saturday from longtime Capitol Hill activist Justin Jones. The violence by THP is beyond words, he said. They rushed forward and pushed one of our friends down the steps because they said using a bullhorn was disorderly conduct. He did not cross barricades, violate any rules. When he fell, he hit his head and became unresponsive. A later tweet from Jones on Saturday about the protesters said, update from hospital, he is beginning to respond slowly but has a broken jaw. Troopers also here at hospital, they should be arrested for assault and battery. A spokesperson for the THP responded, saying around midday Saturday, a protester who appeared to be under the influence was using a bullhorn very close to a trooper's face at the Capitol. A trooper confiscated the bullhorn, and THP started to remove the bike rack barrier to take the protester into custody. While THP was removing the bike rack, the protester retreated while being pulled by another protester down the stairs where he fell, hitting his head. The protester was taken to a local hospital for treatment. The THP never once came into contact with the protester. And all we want to do is see Governor Bill Lee, but he keeps telling these troopers to not let us go past these barricades. And no one sees an end anytime soon to the different versions of what happens here. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. Now, as we told you, Governor Lee has stated on many occasions he will not grant protesters that face-to-face -face meeting.